Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. As we'll see there, the US market rebounded strongly yesterday on comments from Putin that he is willing to help uh, resolve the Ukrainian uh, crisis peacefully, and he's even gone to uh, try and get the separatists and the Kiev uh, government to sit down and discuss peace talks before the allotted time for um, certain regions to vote on a referendum to leave the Ukraine. And there's also reports as well that um, Putin has come out and said that he'll remove his troops from the eastern Ukraine border, which is yet to materialize. But nevertheless, Russian um, stocks jumped 6% yesterday in the news, and the US 30 has now just about had a bullish engulfing pattern Following on from Tuesday's dismal day, uh, we're now uh, floating around the uh, 16524 level, getting quite close to potential resistance at 16598, and not that far away from all-time highs on the US markets yet again. So if we move on to the UK 100, you can see a kind of a similar thing, uh, kind of a hammer formation, uh, bounced off potential uh, support there at 6774. Uh, we have to get beyond the short-term potential resistance at 68.36 and onwards on to 68.74 should the peace process and um, continued diplomacy uh, work out well. Uh, which is obviously a big ask with everything else that's happening, but you never know. Um, what we've also got to see here is that the US 30, content, not the US 30, the Japan 225 is still trading below that potential support at 14.219 even as dollar yen reverses course slightly uh, with a lot of yen selling and uh, more greenback buying uh, on the back of that peace process but we're still on the wrong side of the line right now so i think japan 225 still under some pressure moving on to the uh onto the dollar yen cross we are bound we are pretty much bang on that strategic level at 101 spot 80 we've talked about a lot over the last uh, couple of months um we are below the two uh, smas uh, the 21 and 55 period sma other technical indicators are neutral, uh, but this is going to be heavily influenced by what happens in Ukraine and obviously some of the economic announcements, macro data that's due out uh, over today and tomorrow. If we uh, jump on to uh, Crude West Texas, um, you'll be able to see here that it's come off slightly from its, uh, from its high, broke out strongly uh, yesterday. Uh, as the crude oil inventories were uh, not as high as what the market was expecting uh, and we are just about, just drifting around this 100 spot 61 level so that's a level that many traders will be looking at moving into the weekend. If I look at gold it completely um, lost face yesterday on the back of the peace process or the potential um, diplomacy I should say rather than the peace process um, and this is a very very bearish candle we've got on gold smashing through multiple levels of potential support so we're below both moving averages below 12.95 and now eyeing up the next potential support at 12.67 other technical indicators are neutral indicating there could still be further room for maneuver to the downside should um, things continue to improve if we then look at euro dollar uh, which has been drifting down after a, a fantastic performance there on Tuesday um, we need to have a resurge. We're actually showing a pattern here of lower highs and the tips of the candles. Still eyeing up uh, 39.68 if we continue to see weakness on the dollar and comments from uh, Yellen yesterday is obviously still quite quite dovish. Uh, many commentators believing if we jump on to uh, cable that the UK is likely to increase rates before the US uh, in 2015 and that's one of the things that's going to continue to uh, support uh, GBP versus the US dollar in the near term and for as long as UK data keeps on supporting uh, the growth in the economy we expect that to continue so still eyeing up potential resistances long-term resistance 2009 highs at one spot 70 42 We're pausing for breath right now you'd expect it to be a little bit of a sell-off before we resume upwards momentum but it's all based now on the uh, US and UK economic data and if we actually have a look at the economic calendar We've got our interest rate announcement today that's expected to be unchanged. You've got euro announcements unchanged, US jobless claims that could impact cable. And if we look on Friday, a whole host of uh, important Chinese CPI and PPI data. Plus, if we have a look here, a whole host of UK industrial production data, trade balance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this here could be the catalyst to help us get quite close to that one spot 70 42 level on cable should the upwards momentum continue and you notice here if you have a look at the, my equities on here Barclays is up 3.7 percent um, BT group is up 3.6 percent Barclays on the uh, job cuts announced today about 16 17 thousand people and BT group on very strong earnings that came out today and keep your eye on the chart forum I can see there's a 
and there's a number of clients in here. One client in particular who's posting a lot of incredibly useful uh, technical analysis, so do get a chance to have a look at that and make sure you make insights part of your layout as this gives you the inside track from our global analyst team of what's moving the markets. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.